build a space tower to fuel tanks that reach 52k in the sky. Drill rig lying on the surface, then get a rover that's just a tank, transport, and a shuttle. Yeah, three-step mission is a lot. Hmm. Use a grabbing arm. Uh, that's actually a good point. I don't think I've got a grabbing arm. Uh, I don't remember. It's under coupling. Yeah, I don't have the grabbing arm yet, but you're right. That is this. So I think we just don't have the parts to truly, truly accomplish that mission. Not the refueling part of it. Do you have the drill up front and two huge slow panels back look like a bug? Yeah. So, I mean, we've got 600 science. I mean, we need the field science module, first of all, so that we can get some set of wheels. That's probably a given. Um, and then the grabber bits are here, actuator. There's the advanced. Actually, I've got enough cash. I have enough points for that. So I can get the wheels and the grabber. And then I can get bigger landing struts, which we don't really need. There's the big reaction wheel, which might be worth grabbing, as well as the extra tanks. Don't need any of those. I actually think that's probably a good idea. Just enough for that. Yeah, we could do it on Minmus, but we're doing it on the moon, goddammit. We go to the moon not because it is easier but because it is more awesome. Yeah, the three-step thing may, may have to be. Well, I mean, in any case, we need we need our rover with the fuel tanks. I mean, would we want to do a big orange one? Even? It gets heavy. But, I mean, we could land this empty, right? Which saves a lot of weight for the rover. I don't know if we need, like, the big one. I think we can just bring... Say this rover max, or do we want to bring? No, nah, that's too little. Because this is about three thousand. This is eight hundred. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. And those are little. These aren't even huge, actually. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Like, you need. What do we need? What is the tech that's got? Um, the really huge wheels. We just need a lot more science. I don't think we can do the refueling part of it. Oh, it's right here. Advanced motors. 550 science for the big Rover Max wheels. I think what we're going to do first is the, um, the moon lander to pick up science. We could at least do that part of the mission. Because first of all, we know that we've got a lander that can do it once. This is a lander we have taken to the moon. I don't know if you've got any extra science. Surface scanning module. I don't think we need that. Uh, grav max we've never done. So I can throw grav max on there. Seismic, uh, atmospheric fluid spectro. Mm -hmm. It's huge. We could throw it on back there. Get more science. Okay. So basically, we could land with this thing. Uh, now, this may or may not ever return home. Right? It's, be, it's designed to be a reusable little control landing thingy. So what we could do is... Oops, get rid of the heat shield as well. This is, ne this is never meant to come back home. Lander 2. Saves a little bit of weight. These tanks are enough probably to repeat the landing and, and whatnot, but maybe not actually. It's kind of surprising because I think this stage was actually responsible for helping us deorbit quite a bit the first time. Um, since we're going to be doing repeated landings, we obviously don't need the aerodynamic cones. We might want them for the takeoff, but... I think we can make do. And anyway, then we get rid of the parachute on top and instead get ourselves a 
What am I looking for again? Oh yeah, it's under decoupler. A Clampatron, which is quite large. I may have wanted to include a Clampatron Jr. on the other thing. This looks a little bit stupid, but isn't unworkable. We've got some sideways solar panels, get a couple on top for when we're landed. We should be able to get power. This will be manned. Hopefully we can get in and out of this thing. Switch the pod for lander can. You're right. The lander can is a lot, a lot cheaper. Um, we'll see. How do we do this best? Uh, I reroute. So set one of these to be the route instead. That way I can take this off. Excellent. Lander can is a lot lighter. That's not the lander can. This one is. Um, just put this on top of here. Oops, we have symmetry mode on. I still have symmetry mode on. I went to triple instead of single. There you go, single mode, go there. And now I need the thermometer. I'll move the experiments as well to be a little easier to reach. And we don't need the ladder at all. There we go. That looks a lot better. And it's a lot lighter. We're saving some Delta V for here, which is great stuff. We want to be able to easily reach all the experiments. So if I go and move them to right outside the door, then I can grab stuff and reset things and do whatever. I'm going to move the uh, goo container up a little bit as well. So when I get down to the bottom of the ladder, I bet you I can reset everything. Maybe not, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, we could use fairings or something like that to cover up the fact that the top is completely unaerodynamic. But I think we actually have a lot of Delta V to get in there. What about a probe? That's true. Because as is, we would need a permanent pilot for this. At the very least, I should throw on the very awesome little Probodomidine Ecto. Octo. Um... I say that's yeah, that's apparently going to work to provide SAS and whatnot, but the whole thing could be a probe. There'd be no one to reset things, but it would be incredibly light, just a full-on science probe. Oh no, we need to send someone because we need to be able to take surface samples. Okay, so that's okay. So there'll just be a pilot in here all the time. His job is to fly the ship up and down. He'll have the probe as assistance just in case something goes weird. And he can go out and take surface samples. Done and done. You can use the new science unit to grab the science from the experiments. Yeah, that's true, but I'm not sure that there's a win for that. Not in this particular design. And it would just add some weight, which is not what we're looking for. RCS control, why? Uh, it does make it a lot easier to do the docking. That is true. A lot easier to do the docking. We don't need much. Although our center of mass is a little bit funny. Like, because this is a four-way, we don't need any on the other faces. Uh, I guess you can't push sideways, it's the only shortage. Shortfall, although I guess I could just use the place anywhere linear ones for the side wave force. Because normally you would go with, oops, drop some four way symmetry on there, which I guess is fine, and then more down here, but it's an odd shape. It's a ridiculous amount of RCS. Oh, that's why I was going to take this off, to add a, a bigger RCS tank. I mean, we don't need a ton. Whoops. I guess they're all... Oh, there you go. There's the smaller one. No, we 
and add some weight again. I mean, there's RCS inside of this, or monopropellant inside of this. Not much. We don't actually need much to the final landing. Is that going to block the hatch? I don't think so, but we can test. Landing lights would be good. I mean, if you're good, then what you can do, if we did, oops. Oh, right, I've got to reset the route. There we go, that's now the route again. Um, if I grab that and then turn on the center of mass, ideally what you want to do is if you can set your RCS all along your center of mass, then you really only need the four here. And you've got every axis covered. Center mass will shift when the, bat, the the fuel gets empty, but it's not impossible. Send it as a probe from Kerb and let Jeb uh, board near the moon. That's true, because we don't need a pilot on our space shuttle station. That's an excellent point. Yeah, well, it's empty right now because of my uh, the roots. This might work. Actually, what I am thinking, though, is I'm going to just throw, because it looks a little silly, and it might actually lead to problems, I'm going to throw some struts just there. Clamp that on a little tighter. I don't think we need any down here. That's going to be stuck together pretty well. Um, science on the block is blocking the RCS. Um, I don't think it would be blocked, but I forgot that there is some on the back, and that would be kind of hard to grab. So I'm going to tuck it in over here. It's clipping, but that's okay. Now our center of mass isn't exactly perfect, and especially with the RCS, that might be a little tricksy, but whatever, it'll be fine. I think I'm gonna try this. I do wish I had a hyper edit just to just to test the landing in that sort of simulation mode. There's even um, there's actually a simulation when you're using uh, what is it? The the realistic build time thing, so that it, ships don't build instantly. They also come with a simulator. And as you land on places, it adds more possible planets for you to start a simulation from. So we could simulate having this on the surface of the moon and seeing how it goes. Hyper edits in stock now. Oh, and then. <laughs> so I don't know what our, our weight is compared to the previous lander. Um, 54.5 tons. Versus 54.5 tons. Are you kidding me? We have exactly the same weight as before. And since the base stage is identical, um, that means the top stage is identical in weight. So we did add a bunch of systems, which means we're not squeezing any any extra sort of delta V out of our design here, which I'm not sure about. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little bit of extra fuel. clip more things together because that's fine set orbit and cheat menu that's excellent but I think we're gonna be okay I'm gonna move the RCS up just a bit I think we're gonna go for it and we don't have any lights so let's do that because that will lead to unhappiness Um. Hang on a sec. Pick you, move you up, grab you, go there. So that way we can see when we're landing. But also, I want some forward-facing lights. So we can see our approach maybe a little bit. Uh, grab the rotation tool and you. And do that. All right. Let's do it possibly go wrong antenna um in theory we don't need one but you're right if i did have one i would be able to transmit to the space station oh right there which has a relay module so what the hell right the built-in antenna reach the moon um no maybe not but we don't need one uh, i guess for the probe core part of it it would that's true 
With this, it should be okay. I don't know. It's fine. There's the relay possibility. Um, hopefully our staging is still okay. It's this and that. Then get rid of the asparagusing. Then that. Then that. Sure. Let's do it. Now, we have to make sure that we don't go too fast here because the aerodynamic forces will be a lot worse than before. Because we are, we don't have the nose cone bits, but we're trying to shave off a little bit of weight. So we're gonna lose some delta v at this point from not being aerodynamic, but we're gonna gain delta v in the long run from being lighter. Altitude. Okay, we're probably a little too steep. That's okay. There's our stage. Yeah, definitely a little on the steep side. Not too much, but whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I effed up with my keyboard. So, let's uh, let's revert that to our launch and try again. I hit the wrong key to try to stabilize. Um, just call that pilot error. We'll, we'll blame the pilot. Oh, wait, hold on! Speaking of pilot, how come there's a pilot? There wasn't a pilot before. Go away, pilot. Oof. That would have been really annoying. You forgot an engineer? This is not... We don't need an engineer for that. This is not that mission. There we go. No pilot. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So... Just start to turn over a little bit. But yeah, because of our poor aerodynamics here, we do have to make sure not to go outside the prograde circle too much. Do, 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 do. But mostly I need to make sure not to hit the wrong keys on the keyboard. Yeah, we're accelerating way too fast. Throttle back a bit here. Alright, hold prograde. Yeah, it's still gonna be too steep, but that's and there's our stage. Okay, let's accelerate some more. Delayed it for a little while. Trying to get too many atmospheric effects. Time to apoapsis is climbing slowly, which is pretty comfortable right now. Alright, feeling good. What's more unrescued Kerbal to Quill 18 anyway? That's true. Kerbals are just disposable, man. They're they're green, so it's in co completely environmental to just toss them aside when you're done. Definitely too steep in ascent, but I'm not going to mess with anything here because bad things might happen. Turn our lights on. Ooh, shining on our own bits here. Okay, still far from the next stage. Time to apoapsis is climbing. Not too bad, but we could definitely be a little bit lower. We're still in a little bit of the atmosphere, but not too much. Okay, we can definitely pitch down a little bit more now. And I'll leave it on prograde for focus, which means I have to fight a little too much. So let's just put it on stability assist temporarily. Try to pitch down really just on the cusp of the prograde marker, though. And let's face surface prograde while we stage to make sure the engines are good. Okay, and how's our stats? Yeah, and climbing, so we could definitely... And how's our altitude? Yeah, so there's no more weird atmospheric effects now, so we should be able to go completely sideways. Which isn't, you know, as efficient as having done a proper gravity turn, but ain't too bad. And that way we don't push up our apoapsis quite as much. And get a slightly faster entry into orbit. Or flatter entry into orbit, which is what we're looking for. So what we'll probably do is we'll end this, I think, when we are in orbit of the moon. We'll do our, our landings and science and stuff in another video, because we've already gone over our time limit here. It's past four o'clock. Just flattening out our orbit more than anything else here. How's our stage fuel? We're all right. So again, we had extra atmospheric drag on our way up, which cost us some delta V here. But that's all right. I think we'll be fine. If nothing else, again, we just put ourselves in lunar orbit. Hell, we rendezvous with the station and wait until we've got our first fuel reload. And there's about 100k. Entering into space. A little bit of fuel left in this stage here. Help us circularize. There's going to need very little delta V to finish this off. 
Very little. Boom. Yeah, a little longer than I thought, but not too bad. Soylent Green is Kerbals! <laughs> we could have upgraded the lifter. The lifter is very obsolete. That is absolutely true. So, let's go and fast forward here. If we finish the burn with this engine, we'd do it with 30 seconds to the node, but I don't think that's going to be the case. So, what I'm going to do is start it a little early because we are going to have to stage partway through. And go into an engine that's got a little bit less thrust to weight. Which means a slightly longer burn time. Plus the time to stage. Not that it's going to be very long, but a little bit of caution. Okay, and I'm going to stay locked to prograde. Get rid of the node. And stage, and then just sort of watch things here. Time to apoapsis is dropping. Okay. So we didn't start too early. Hopefully we didn't start too late. But I think we're going to be fine. Now this stage is very much part of the stage that we'd like to get to the moon with. So we're burning some of our transmuter injection stage, but I think we're okay. And that's up, and there's the circularization, more or less. Good enough. Got a lights on. That's very important. Whee! Got a docking thing. That's good. All right, let's go to the moon. Where's the moon? There it is. Quick save. Warp to around here. We'll just eyeball it. And again, yeah, I think the default mode for ComNet should be the current path, not the entire network. The entire network is just a little too noisy and it seems to reset on every launch. I mean, maybe it's important to have like as a first default, but it'd be nice if it saved this for your missions. I, I, I suspect it saves it for each mission individually. Did I, um, did I run out of power? Right, we're uncrewed. So, and we're on the dark side. There's the sun. Now you've got power again. Okay. <laughs> I forgot I don't have the extendo solar panels either, so we have to make sure that we stay focused or facing into the sun. Where is the moon? I don't think it's risen quite yet. Or maybe it has. Oh my god. The moon's going to be like in the sun. I can't. <laughs> is it now? Do we burn now? I can't see the moon. I think that's it. No, that's just part of the, the halo, but I don't know. It's fine. Shit, I can't see anything. Is it? Is the overlay still on? I'm like, why does the moon look like it's made out of lava? The landing overlay is still on. Oh shit. That's cool! I couldn't figure out the pink stuff. That's why I didn't think it was the moon. Wow! Alright, that's awesome. Oh yeah, the lights use power too. We should probably do that. Turn that off. They're cool, but yeah, we should turn that off. And stay facing into the sun. It'll be fine once we get a pilot on here. Although I say that, we don't have any batteries on this. We don't have the extendo solar panels. We're actually gonna have... And there's no um, alternator in these engines. We actually might find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. Hmm. The only thing we don't have is solar panels facing our ass end. Or on some a couple of the sides. We're probably okay. Although this would be a good time for KIS to be here so that we can install extra components and make changes to our landers later on. Yeah, we don't have enough Delta V. This stage is not only supposed to get us to the moon, really, but also help get us into orbit, so that's a no-go. All right, that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll blow up this this probe and, and launch another one, i.e. I'll revert this one, since there's no pilot anyway. So we'll make another tweak later on. I think the power situation would be fine, but the amount of Delta V is unacceptable. I mean, we could. Here's the thing. I could get this module, actually, to rendezvous with our space station. And then refuel from there. It's actually true. Our burns definitely come late. But there's no reason I can't rendezvous with the space station like this, actually. So I guess we'll save money and use it as it whoops. I just overkilled things a little bit. That's okay. Um 
this orbit is strange and confusing. Uh, but I think what we want to do is just go here and do an anti-normal burn, which will... Well, one of these burns doesn't matter. Uh, no, that's the wrong orbit. Anti-normal. We're going to come from the south pole heading up. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We don't know because this is going to rotate around. So how our orbit will, how we will want our orbit to be to intersect with this moon station is very much a big question mark because we don't know how this is going to be facing us when we enter the system. By coming in on the south pole, we might be in entirely the right place or entirely the wrong place or somewhere in between. So I'm actually wondering if I should split the difference, come in equatorially, you know, on a wide equatorial angle, then once I'm in the moonar or, uh, orbit, like, then do a planar correction? Yeah, I don't know, actually. Fuck, that's the problem with these polar orbits. It's fine if you're intersecting it from the planet, but if we're trying to meet up with this thing from Kerbin, there's no way for us to know how this orbit's going to look by the time we get there. I mean, right now, this mostly gets us in the correct orbit. We're coming in, because it's coming in this way, and we're coming in this way. But by the time we get there, orientations will have changed somewhat, so. I don't know, I guess we'll just do this. It's going to get us into the relatively low orbit of the moon. But that's not a problem. Actually, we want to kind of avoid being in a matching orbit, because we need to do a rendezvous. But this can work. And we've got plenty of delta V for orbital maneuvers. That's not a problem. It's just the landing and takeoff. So... Again, I will just get ourselves into orbit of the moon in some fashion. Um, you're going to be going anti-normal. You're going to warp to the next maneuver. Whoop. Okay. I think we're still fine. We'll probably use a little bit more delta V here, but if need be, I'll return to my quick save before that freaking time warp. Jeebus. Focus view. Uh, go for burn. Yeah, we're fine. So nice low orbit around the moon, which is fine. Or low periapsis. Uh, so... And stop. And... Add maneuver. Retrograde. Quick save. Warp to next maneuver. Arrive. Orientate ourselves retrograde. It's going to be a very short burn. All I'm going to do is actually start like, I don't know, it's not even going to be 10 seconds. I think it was a 10 second burn, right? So like 5 seconds before the periapsis. And stop the time warp. And go. Because our thrust to weight is actually huge with these two engines. It's actually very, 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 very powerful. We still have the mission to rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. We're going to do a rendezvous in orbit of the moon first. So, how did we luck out? Actually, I don't think I should have closed my orbit, because I think planner changes are more expensive on the lower... I'm not sure. So, you are going... And we are going... Okay, we're not that far off. That's good. I mean, we're pretty far off, but manageably so. So over here, we're looking to do a maneuver that is, yes, anti-normal. Anti-normal, save, warp to here. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, no, no, we're good. So yes, warp to here. Only time 50. <laughs> I really should use more actual plan maneuvers. Now, this is going to look like it's doing bizarre things to our orbit, but it's kind of not... At yeah, that's actually why I tend to eyeball this one. So it's going to be about a 20-ish second burn. So the but the maneuver, the thing is your normal anti-normal sort of shifts around a little bit as you perform the move so in a sense it's almost better 
if you just lock yourself there and then do the normal or anti-normal burn because uh, I should make sure I'm facing the sun too. Well, my power's good now. Uh, because then we'll shift with it. If I do this, it'll start to shrink. Too bad you don't get a time until the node. Although the node's being pushed away there, so I'm burning a little too early still. If the node's pushing away, it's because you're burning too early. start to move more and more dramatically as you get closer to zero degrees offset. And zero degrees offset. Okay, so now we are, unless I've mistaken, no, we are in the same orbital direction exactly as the space station. So we are in a much lower orbit, which means we are going to catch up to it. What we're going to do is, well, well, I'm going to stop here because we're in orbit here, but eventually, now we're going to have some problems with the solar power and whatever, but luckily we are correctly facing the sun this time. I don't have a signal right now, but that's okay. We are in some fashion facing the sun. Um, I could explicitly go and if I can find the probe core, which is hiding here, I could hibernate it as well, make sure we use very minimal power. But we're facing the sun. At some point, we'll have a signal in, we'll do that. We'll be in range of this. Actually, we bounce stuff off of there. Um, we do have a short range antenna. I mean, I can also extend this antenna, I may as well do that. But we have an antenna, even in the probe core, that would reach the moon station, which has a relay. So as long as we can reach that, we're fine. This is just the slightly odd situation where we don't have range of that. But at some point, we'll have vision of it, we'll be able to plan a maneuver, and we will be able to intersect, but we're going to have to like time warp a few times to get a little closer. I think if we were around here and it was around here, I think that would be the perfect time for us to burn. Um, and the maneuver will be, I can't even add a maneuver node. Oh, all right, fine. Um, it'll be a prograde burn. Yeah, tell you what, I'm being annoyed here. So I want to go long enough until we've got vision of Kerbin over here. But yeah, we are catching up because we're in a much lower orbit. And then what we'll do is we'll dock, and there's actually enough fuel in there that we should be fine. Then we'll actually test to see if our lander has... Uh, maybe we won't send a person with it on the first go. We'll just test to see if the lander... It means we can't get a surface sample, but we can get everything else. Um, if the lander has enough delta V to land and come back without sacrificing anyone. So if we burn from here... Oh, right, we're in hibernation mode. I wonder if I dehibernated, even if I didn't have a connection, if I'd be able to plan a maneuver. It seems odd that I can't plan a maneuver. Seems very odd. I mean, executing it, no, but... Oops. Now, see, I just want to grab the freaking ring so I can change the timing. Yeah, we'll have to wait a few more orbits to get closer for this transfer to work. But that's all. But it'll be something like that. Very low delta V to boost us. You can see here already. To, if I burn prograde here, for me to meet up on their orbit over here, very, 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 very easy. So um, we just have to get closer. A slight prograde burn to get me up to the right height. And then when we get close, we do another prograde burn when we're sort of tangential to match their orbit. Basically, we'll bring our periapsis to be identical to theirs. Done. Bob's your uncle. We dock. We refill. And then we run the test to see if this lander is actually um, competent. I don't know. But that is it for today. Next live stream is going to be tomorrow morning. We're going to be playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's going to be a continuation of Sunday Morning Heroes. You can find out more information at sundaymorningheroes.com. Be playing with Briarstone, A Kiss for Luck, and Demonac, and uh, with my poor one eyed Tau. Other than that, next live stream is going to be on Wednesday, where we continue our Civilization V run as Egypt. And then after Wednesday, it will be the 29th of September. The 29th of September, which is on a Thursday, which is going to be a very, 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 very important date that you don't want to miss. There's going to be a bonus live stream on Thursday, September the 29th, for an upcoming game. It's going to be... Well, we're having that live stream right after Civ 5 live stream. Civ 5 on Wednesday, and then plus one days after that. If you add plus one to Civilization 5, I wonder what you might get. I don't know. We're going to find out on Thursday, September the 29th, we will have the plus one to Civilization 5 live stream. We'll see you there. Thanks for coming out, folks.